not so good for me. I woke up hardly able to walk. And even being in the car is painful. So we are headed to prompt care. I'm not really sure what they're going to be able to do for me. And I'm scared to death that the wait time is going to be forever since it's a holiday weekend. But thank goodness Mason is with Ronnie and Melody, so we will see how it's going to go today. So we'll see you later. Which is usually not that bad, I guess. It's not bad. At least they propped me up like this, which is a lot more comfortable than the chairs out there. Look, there's a good chance we might be here for another 45 minutes before even seeing a doctor. Okay, so we're headed home. They gave me... Oh, they gave you a shot. In the... In the butt. get to the Sierras. I like the Sierras. She's got some nice twin peaks. This just got so not family friendly anymore. I feel a little bit better but because I have a oh, degenerative dis disc problem there's not really much you can do for me but they gave me a pain shot pretty much and I feel a little better yes but I'm just gonna have to take it easy there's really just not much I could do but the pain shot does make me feel better but you know what makes me feel even just so much better <laughs> Daddy stopped and got me a caramel frap. Why? Because you feel sorry for me? Couch, and we are watching Tooth Fairy with Dwayne Johnson, The Rock Baby. I don't have 
good light over here. And we have moved on to Tomorrowland. Not even wasted an energy, not even touching the guy. But thought we were watching a movie, not playing kill shot, probably. I was just hitting a bounty. No. I thought we were watching a movie, not we playing kill shot, We are watching a movie! I thought we were watching a movie! I have a cuddle bug. Too warm. I'm cold. Yeah, I'll I get when you cuddle with me. So you just want to check to see. I just need to know if I can, if I've got the room to hook up something more. Am I yet a cuddle bug? Otherwise, I'm gonna have to fall fire. This is what the inside of my walls look like on our upper how part of our house it's just a solid wall so what you see on the outside on the inside all one piece no void so i don't know when this house was built but definitely old school move the old one and now have to install the new one which I'm going to have to widen that hole more because the hole is not deep enough or no, not deep enough, long enough or yeah, long enough. I have to cut it down a little further. So, but I thought it'd be interesting to see what the, my house is made out of. I used a wood boring drill bit and I put a couple of holes on each side after making my line of how far down I need to cut that hole as you can see so now I have to take this bad boy this is what you call a sawzall and I just gotta follow that line I made and cut it out and then we can get ready to start getting this swamp cooler installed up there. So this part's gonna take a while. It'll be a pain in the butt. But. As you can see this is going to take a while but I think I'm going to put a newer blade on because that might help this go a lot faster. Safety first. <laughs> now as you can see the hole is wider. So we've got the little insert in there. Unfortunately it's a little less long or wide than what the old one was so there's going to be a little bit of a gap I'm going to have to fill but well, the uh, cooler is not there no more it is now here and as you can see I've got the chains holding it I lifted it up there and got the chains hooked so that at least it's right there for me to start trying to button up I'm sweating like a pig. So I used that stripping or plastic stuff they gave us and I cut it just to fit that spot and then I caulked around it. I used some clear caulking. That's all I had. And I did the outside too. So that's how you do it yourself. Install your own swamp cooler. Took me a little longer because I did it by myself. So trying to lift it, hold it in one spot while I'm doing one thing and hold it and lift it on the other spot and hold it and while I'm doing something else to kind of anchor it, you know, it was a little difficult. So I would recommend having help, but I didn't have help, so. 
and I needed to get it done. So uh, that's how it's done. Although I didn't show you every step because there was, you'd be watching the video probably for two hours, <laughs> watching every step I did. So that's it. Hey Mason. Yeah. The floor is lava. thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed hit the red button below like duh <laughs> and if you're new just let us know in the comments below like yeah we'll see you guys tomorrow bye I'm blinding you I'm blinding you I'm blinding you